Love boat sink, sink the love boat, 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 love boat sink. When the weight of an object pushing down is greater than the force of the water pushing up. Then you're gonna sink the cup. This is Sink the Love Boat with Jeff and Page. Hello, hi, not goodbye, and happy Valentine's Day says I, this guy. That's right, it's Valentine's Day, and I'm your host for some love-filled science fun. The name's Hartman, Harvey Hartman. That's heart man, comma, hearty, heart, heart, Harvey. <laughs> it's time to use some brain power, some water, and some candy in this experiment we call Sink. Step one, decorate your love boat. Optional. Step two, make your prediction. Hypothesis time. How many candy hearts will it take to sink my little love boat? I guess 21. Step number three, and this is the fun part, test your hypothesis. Oh good, my microphone's back. Incongruency. Love boat sink, sink the love boat, 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 love boat sink. When the weight of an object pushing down is greater than the force of the water pushing up. Then you're gonna sink the cup. This is Sink the Love Boat with Jeff and Page. The science, you say? Don't mind if I do. Keep it kind of quick, you add, politely. Of course. When an object enters the water, the water exerts a force back upward on that object, and that's what keeps it afloat, especially if it has nice high sides, like this container, the SSSS. But when we begin to add weight to our object, when the downward force of that weight is greater than the upward force of the water, that's when the boat will sink. This is Har Har Harvey Hartman saying happy scientific Valentine's Day. Ooh. Hmm. Ah. Soggy. Hmm. This one tastes good. This one says high five. Okay, Kofi. And this one says, marry me. Sorry, kitty. I can't marry you, but I still love you. Happy Valentine's Day from Harvey Har Har Hartman. Step two, make your prediction. Hypothesis time. 